Money. Money. Where located? Okay, everybody cares about money. That's the, you know, it's gonna be the same answer, right? Mm -hmm. um, what, but more specifically <laughs> in the money, with it, when it comes to you, what are they gonna care about? Similar to the seller now. How much money are they bringing to closing? Mm -hmm. How much money are they bringing to closing? So when we are on the seller side, it's how much money are they bringing away from closing? Mm -hmm. And on the buyer side, how much money are they bringing mm -hmm. to closing? Mm -hmm. So when we're going into filling out this contract, right, what are we thinking? We gotta begin with the end in mind, right? That's begin with the end in mind. How much money do they need to bring to closing? So, and up front too. I mean, <laughs> to closing includes all of that, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's the point. The, the, the well, check that they have to bring, right, is, is gonna include all of that. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to figure out, is what all of that is, right? Mm -hmm. in, order, in order to get to what they have to bring to closing, because remember at closing, we've already done all that. It's all calculated in. We have a settlement statement. We've put all that in and we have a final bottom line. Your estimated closing statement is designed to tell them what that bottom line is supposed to be, right? The closer you are, the better you look and the more prepared they are, right? Mm -hmm. So same thing with the sellers, it's just, there's more information on the buyer side. So, let's go back and look at our paragraph again. So it's easy, play along with me here. It's easy when I'm going through this with a, with a buyer to start at the top and go to the bottom. That just makes sense. That's how we always read, right? We start at the top of the page. We don't start at the bottom of the page, right? So what I'm asking you to do is somewhat counterintuitive. You say, okay, I've got to know what's in paragraph two before I can fill out paragraph one, right? It's somewhat counterintuitive, but that's exactly right. I got to know what's in paragraph two first. So how do I find out what's in paragraph two? Well, let's read it again, just because I'm gonna take as much time as I can to get you to read this with me. Okay, paragraph two, settlement charges. Purchasers, loan closing costs, prepaid items, escrows, loan discount fees and funding fees, PMI, MIP, and VA funding fees are to be paid by purchaser unless herein accepted, okay? So we just said a whole bunch of stuff is paid by purchaser. Now, here is the rub. Well, let me, let me keep going before I get to the rub. Okay, <laughs> seller agrees to contribute up to blank towards purchaser's total settlement charges, including purchaser's half of title insurance and those costs purchaser is not allowed to pay under FHA, <coughs> VA, conventional requirements, but exclusive or excluding of di direct seller costs, i.e. deeds, seller's half of title insurance, payoff expenses, etc. period, stop. Okay, so once again, if I was just starting up here, okay, I know how much their loan is, I know what the house they like is, so I'm gonna put that in here, put the loan amount in here, and then, well, I've seen $5,000, a lot of times the sellers will pay $5,000 towards settlement charges, so I'm gonna fill that in right here, right? Okay? You see, we're just, we're just, we're just, I mean, I, I could get a third grader to do that. Not right? in this market. <laughs> so, that's not what we wanna do. That's not what we wanna do. We wanna have meaning to all of these lines, right? All these lines have meaning. Okay, so. Seller agrees to contribute. We don't know what that is yet, do we? Mm -mm. We don't know at all. But we do know that they just listed off a bunch of stuff that purchasers are supposed to pay. Mm -hmm. So how do we figure out what those numbers are? I talked 
school lender. Absolutely. And I know all those before I yeah. can offer. That's exactly what you need to do. <laughs> before you make the offer. Yes. Absolutely. How do you know? Because you're just guessing. You're guessing. And that's scary. <laughs> so the ECS is not much better than guessing. Okay? Because it's wrong. It's trying to be a one size fits all. Okay? Did you cut yourself? No. Oh, okay. Um, I thought you were holding it like it was oh, bleeding no. or something. No, I have a hang now. Okay. But I didn't cut myself. <laughs> Not yet. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so, so we, we start with a relationship with a lender, right? Do you all have that now? Yes. Okay. So you pick up the phone and you say, okay, you've given, well, Here's what I would do. Um, I would call the lender that they have their uh, uh, pre-approval from and ask for this information. Look, can you give me, can, and I'd be together when I did it. Can you give us, send us your, your uh, preliminary disclosure um, concerning the, the, this transaction, okay? And if you can't get them on the phone, I mean, you, you, know, you want to find out well in advance of this. So this is not while you're making an offer. This is before you're making an offer, right? Um, so if, if you can't get them on the phone or you can't get them to respond to you, what would I do? I would go to a different lender. <laughs> okay, I would say, okay, just, just, I, I understand that you've got this lender to, that approved you, but let's go get this other lender just to give you a competitive bid, just to make sure you're getting the best deal, okay? And the other lender that I send them to is somebody that I can work with who will give me that information. Who will answer your calls. <laughs> That's right. And then I take that information and I do this same kind of tool on the buyer side, right? Mm -hmm. So we know what else does the buyer have to pay? other than the purchase price. Insurance. Okay, that's right. They're part of the passions. They're part of the HOA. appraisal. Okay. Okay, now appraisal is going to be part of this stuff, right? The lender fee. Yeah, yeah the, the, the settlement charges. The inspection stuff they provide. Okay, that's right. That's usually outside of closing. They, they pay for that on their own. But in terms of figuring out... Oh. For the yeah, yeah. Gotcha. but you're right that's what I that's the question that I ask um, in terms of figuring out what we did for the seller for the buyer you've got to know all the things all the categories of what the the buyer has to pay this just listed the, the bulk of them right here mm -hmm. okay this is the bulk of them um, and it's going to be and everything that we just said is going to be included in here mm -hmm. right so most of everything we need is going to come from the lender. Is there anything else other than what we get from the lender's uh, estimated or preliminary disclosure? The earnest money check. Earnest money check. Okay, that's true. That didn't come from the lender. Right? What else? I shop closing attorney cost fees depending on the. Okay, Fine. well, I hope you stop shopping. <laughs> I don't shop anymore. Yeah. I know, well, I, I do. You know our I fees and you play your bank. I hope your shop, shop <laughs> yeah. ends, starts and ends here. Um, but I encourage them. <laughs> I would encourage them to use ADN and Power Service. <laughs> anyway, um, but that's still, that's, still, that's still all in here. I think. <laughs> Okay, that's still all in this. This is going to be all in that that we just talked about. Okay, so on top of that, anything else? <coughs> Think about what we just all this stuff that we said for the seller, right? What are the categories? Taxes. Taxes are going to be in this. HOA fees, right? Do they have yeah. Do they have an HOA? Does the Is there a transfer fee? Mm -hmm. Right? That's something we need to ask. Mm -hmm. Right? What else? Mm -hmm. This is on the buyer side. Well, they might 
they, they, they might they might have to, you know, there might be something that they, they have to, especially in this market. Mm -hmm. Negotiate with. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. I think the lend, um, type of loan is huge. Uh, absolutely. That's coming buyer. from the lender. Right. That's coming from the lender. We should have all that's that. It's not coming from the lender. That's what he's asking. Yeah. What else? Other than what's coming from the lender. Do you have to know? Do you have to know? This is settlement charges. That's all from the lenders. That's going to be all on there. We're in Alabama. Warm, moist climate. Oh, oh. termites. Termites. Yeah. Okay. Termite. <laughs> Where, you got to pay for a termite letter, right? Mm -hmm. um, and, and then there may be a transaction fee, mm -hmm. right? Um, it, you got. I mean, if you have transaction fee, you need to. That's part of it. If, if, well, that's more in the negotiations. If they're trying to make you pay their transaction fee, you, you need to just read that. But, um, okay. So, so we need to have the categories, right? Just like we did with the seller. We need to know. We need to remember certain things. It's all in here, for the most part, except HOA transfer fees. That that's. You're not going to know the number, right? You're not going to know the number of the termite letter. You got to know who you're using. Um, but you're right on the home inspection. You need you need to tell them that the home inspection is going to cost about X, right? Um, anything else that you can think of? Your property insurance. You're going to have to get the lender may have an estimate of that, and it may just be a a pull out of the air estimate. So you got to make sure that they who who they have gone to and what their quote is, right? Mm -hmm. So it matches. And y'all, that's so easy. I mean, they can they can give you at least a kind of an estimate, which is going to be better than what the lender is using. Oftentimes, yeah. depends on the lender. Mm -hmm. Depends on the lender, but oftentimes, okay. Um, okay. So can we do the same thing? Mm -hmm. um, let's do the same thing. For the buyer, same transaction. Wonder, should we pull, um, you know, what the the lender? I have a little sheet that the lender gave me. I forgot about. What like lender? Six, I don't know. It's on a. Um, I have one. You have one, mm -hmm. like a estimated fee sheet from a lender. Yeah. Yeah, we could use that and see where to plug these in. You know what I'm saying? Use their numbers. I do too. She's also. Awesome. You do too. Okay. Yeah, these are all smaller than that. So essentially, before an offer, we can just shoot you the your lender estimate. Yes. Mm -hmm. and you'll have that. Kathy. Ready for us to go over. Mm -hmm. Okay, if, if she's got one, let's just use her. Yeah. Okay, okay and we're, I'm going to oh. ask you questions, and you tell me the answer from you. <laughs> She's like, no, you find it. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh, this is a good one because this is a this is a national lender closing oh with a um, I ten. This is crazy numbers. I ten. What's an I ten? It's not I social security. It's like the and the real tax number, not a social security number. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. yeah. And there's only there's only yeah, like one in the nation that will close Do all 50 states yeah so but their fees are <laughs> insane oh yeah oh i'm sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay what's the property location this Lisa, you're on with me. Okay. one is three six six description line road okay mm -hmm. three four six six section line road section mm -hmm. albertville albertville mm -hmm. Kind of loan. We are doing conventional. Okay. And what is sales price? Sales price is one seven. Just go off. One fifty. And what is the loan amount? One twelve five hundred. <coughs> and what is the interest rate? Eight point eight seven. Oh. Oh. Wow. Term thirty years. Yeah. Okay. Closing date. Thirty days. 
April 14th. Oh, no. April 14th. Oh, no. March. No, it's February. Holy moly. Okay. So, and I'm going to. Okay. Home insurance per year annual. It should be a prepaid item on there. Just. Can you talk about that? That's not our home insurance. Just it should be more of their taxes. That's where it comes into play. But the first year at current? I thought that was a prepaid. Well, it's prepaid and escrowed, but it's not. Uh, it, this is asked me for the whole year. I know, but where did this okay, come from? I don't know what you're looking at. 1128, it's a lender's. A lender's is, uh, estimation. Owner's title insurance. Yeah, usually they will put. Hazard insurance. Yeah. Hazard yeah. insurance. insurance. That's just um, escrow, so. Well, you can figure it out by the month. Homeowner's insurance, six months. So six months is 525, so times two. Yeah. What 10 is that? It's 10.50. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you see how I did? So that's, okay. it's a hazard insurance. That's hazard what you're looking insurance. for, and you're looking for a yearly amount. You need to know that because they're going to collect that at closing the whole year. Right. Yeah. Just studied all of that. <laughs> so hazard so insurance is the property insurance. That's the same thing. And, and you can take when they're homeowners, homeowners yeah. if you look at um, the escrow oh, part and, and it says three months at $40 a month, you could take 40 times 12 and come up with the same number, right? Yeah, if you looked on the escrow, it's just right. that. Yeah. But just can you explain why we're going to take an escrow and a whole year at right? Yeah. This so, is good that you know this. So um, think about this, okay? <laughs> we, we've talked about taxes. Taxes are paid in arrears, backwards, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm paying my taxes on October 1st, 2020 for the tax year that began October 1st, 2019. Mm -hmm. Property insurance is paid ahead. It's, it was, it's, one of them's backwards, right? <laughs> um, um, yes, so if I'm, if I'm closing on February 14th, right? When is my next bill due? February 14th of 2021. Correct, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm paying today from now until then, yep. all up front. Mm -hmm. Between now and then, what's happening? How is it going to be paid? Escrow. Escrow. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? We have to pay up front so you need an escrow so they can pay it for us. Right, so we got to get this year covered. Right, but between now and then, I I'm making my payments, and part of my payment is them taking part of the insurance premium and setting it aside in a savings account, mm -hmm. right? To pay in February. To pay in February 2021. Yes. Okay. Right, and so I'm closing February for or February 14th. When is my first payment? April. Uh, April. Yeah. April 1st. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they start on April 1st putting money aside for my property insurance on, on February 14th of next year. Do I have enough? No. I do not. I need a year and they've only started collecting, what, they got eight months worth. Mm -hmm. 10 months. 10 months. Okay? So the, the, the escrows at closing are to make up for that gap. Mm -hmm. Right? The lender's going to take February, March, and April probably mm -hmm. uh, in escrow ahead. So I'm paying a whole year mm -hmm. plus maybe three more months mm -hmm. because yeah, because my first payment doesn't start until April. Right. And I've got to have money in there for the whole year. So I've got to make up for those months that I'm not paying a payment. Right? Do you know why they do that? Why they don't make you pay in March? Why they have to wait until the next month? Yes. So start your payment? Yeah. Because you're, but yes, the interest is paid one month, you're always one month behind. So when you, <coughs> God bless you, when you pay your April payment, <coughs> God bless you, you're paying Thank for you. your March interest. Okay. You pay that okay? in arrears too. Yeah, one month. Okay. <laughs> that's the yeah, same reason, <laughs> that's the same reason your payoffs are going to be wrong. Okay. 
Yep. When you look right. when you yeah. look at the original principal or the principal balance that's shown on the statement, it doesn't count how much interest is due from the previous payment. Mm -hmm. That's 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 why it's gonna be wrong. So if the previous payment was six months ago, it's gonna be really wrong. <laughs> yeah. Right? right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But that's the why. So we get it caught up to where, okay, we we pay up until March first because that's the February interest, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Then the next payment is April 1st, so they pay the March interest. Mm -hmm. Is that, you with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so that's, you're gonna be asked this question, why am I paying 15 months of insurance? And you're really not, okay? The difference between prepays and escrows is prepays are actually paid to the ultimate vendor, the insurance company. Escrows are paid to your lender to hold until they eventually pay the ultimate vendor next year. Yeah. Right? Make sense? Yeah, I'm glad you explained that like that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, good, good point. Um, so, you've got to know what that means so that the, when, when you're looking at these estimated statements, you, you, get, you know if, if it's right. Like, we use your brain. Like, that don't, that don't make sense, you know? Yeah. Because right. what they'll do, and, and they'll do the same thing for taxes. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is what I want right? to get to. So the lender will pay the taxes when they come due next year, okay? Mm -hmm. Which is when? October. October 1st, okay? So we're, we're in February, and we don't have a payment until April, right? So if I start collecting one twelfth of it every month in April, am I going to have enough to pay in October? No. No. I'm going to be short. Right. How many months? And so we we calculate from last October, October, November, December, January, February, March, April. You got to have at least seven months in escrow to make it right. Okay, mm -hmm. and they're probably going to take a month's cushion, but you're going to be real close if you put seven months in there. And a lot of the lenders will calculate three months on both of those. And on your ECS. And, three. and on your ECS. It, it just it's so wrong. It just fills in three automatically. Well, that <coughs> that's absolutely random. <coughs> One month of year, that's going to be right. <laughs> right. Like a broken clock, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Twice a twice a day. Um, so. You've so got a, however many months it is, go two months over to calculate it. Is that what yeah. uh, I, I, you would go from whatever month and then back to October? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, Say For, so so uh, you're getting to the next step. Yeah, oh. I, I understand what you're saying, but whatever month, what do you mean? We tell me what you mean by your question. Oh gosh, I'm already confused, so I'm trying to. This is confusing, mm -hmm. very confusing. Yes. Especially since I don't own a home, right. so I don't deal with this, and I don't know really that how it works. That's okay. So, you've got you've um, got to understand it though, so we'll we'll take the time. Um. Okay. If you said however many right, months, let's say two it's months February, over. and you said that you won't pay March, then you pay April, so that's like two months out. So if you're trying to figure out the taxes or whatever, you go from October to February, but calculate two more months. Right. Because I would go from October to, to the first payment date. Mm -hmm. First payment date, is that the, what you're saying? The two months. Yes. But for me mentally, I have Depends to Depends on when you close. Okay, what month are we in now? All right, and then it's gonna be like two months out. Yeah. Depends, unless you call Kathy. <laughs> unless you call Kathy. Unless you call, it depends. Sometimes.